Come on in, guys. Come on in, guys. I am Ia Ashael, Rock Kapata, the artist formerly known as Genki. And um, come on in, guys. We're talking about us, inner earth, uh, inner earth. Guys, come on in, come on in. We are talking about Us Movie Decoded, The Shadow Self, Tunnels Inside of Inner Earth, all that good stuff. So come on in, y'all. Like, share the video. Share, share. So, we are talking about the movie Us Decoded. Okay, the movie Us was talking about a lot of shit. First off, they said Jeremiah 11, 11, which means that he shall bring evil upon them unaware. And they will hasten, they will try to get to God and he will not hear them pretty much. Okay? So, the movie Us was definitely talking about, first of all, the shadow self. We'll talk about a little bit of shadow self. The lady, she kept going like this. She's like, oh yeah, I am your shadow. And talking about how she was she was the 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 shadow of the lady that uh that that was there that seen her as a kid. And it's talking about parallel realities. Alright, that's what a lot of uh, Legwood deals with is the four different parallels of realities. You have one way, another way, and another way that creates the cross or the crossroad or the path. So Okay, so when they're talking about in that, in that movie, it also talks about in the um, Emerald Tablets of Thoth. It talks about the inner earth caverns where you were initiated into the inner earth societies to go down to see the, the dweller and the great princess and the tunnels. At the beginning of the movie, also told you that there are thousands of tunnels inside America. There are thousands of tunnels and people go missing all the time. So understand that when they're taking people into these different places, they're doing genetic experiments on them. They're doing all different types of experiments and creating clones. It was also talking about clones and a bunch of different stuff. So the shadow self, and this is going to be a real quick video because I kind of can't miss my bus. So the shadow self, the shadow self, remember as you get closer to the light, your shadow grows. As you get closer to the light, your shadow gets bigger and brighter and brighter and bigger and bigger and bitter. Just like if you were to go turn a, a lamp off across the room, your shadow will grow as you reach that. When you're diving into your shadow self, deal with those repressed emotions, deal with those, those different energies that we, are, um, that we have to deal with when we deal with our shadow self. Okay, There are also beings who have lost their light. These beings who have lost their light are known as shadow beings. You might see them. A lot of people, some people who have lost their astral body are shadow beings. And a lot of these people have followings and stuff on Facebook and all these other things. So y'all got to be careful out there because they're using your light in their readings to feed off of you. They're using their things to feed off of you and thus you become a shadow. You know, you become a shell for the light. So you don't want to lose your shadow self. Underneath where I'm standing at right now is an underground base. Okay? Everywhere I usually tend to go, there are underground bases. Inner Earth humans. I have met Inner Earth humans quite frequently. Especially staying near the McClellan Air Force Base. Where there are Inner Earth humans where you can see that their eyes are bigger than normal. They have bigger appendages than normal. And stuff like that. They look like humans. They look like what? Us. But they don't. Well, I'm, I, I, they look like y'all. I mean, because I'm, I'm only like 5% human. I just look like this. <laughs> so, understand the movie Us was talking about a lot of heavy things. Y'all noticed that each of the characters had a defect that was like the polar opposite of what the other kids 
or the other person's main, I guess, attribute was. So they, you notice they put the, the kid was crawling on the ground. The other kid was was running fast. They get, they had super natural abilities. They can hear. But the one was barely able to talk. And when she was talking, she talked about the shadow. How the shadow had to sit there and watch her twin or her 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 parallel self from the natural reality, right? How she had to sit there and watch her go and have all these things while she was kept in the lab. And that's some real shit. There is your doppelganger out there in a parallel reality or parallel universe. Our universe is known as the Gaul system, right? The Gaul system, the Milky Way, all right? I talked about the Pleiadians and the, and the shadow people who came here and stole our knowledge. They took this information from us and they inverted it because they come from an inverse. You have a universe, right? And you have an inverse. And you also have an outverse. So when that movie is showing you that the inverse... The perversion of the self, in the, when the shadow self in the light is no longer within you, then that shadow self becomes your biggest enemy. You become your biggest enemy when you, exactly, and that's what we're talking about, Ulegba, or uh, Papa Legba, right? This represents the crossroads, the realities between life and death, blood and darkness, that primal force, the root chakra and the earth star chakra, the shadow self. Baton Rouge. Hey, shout out Baton Rouge. Shout out, shout out. That's what this represents. That's what the, the look, it's a crossroads right here. Representing for every choice that you make, you have to make a turn. I was just uh, at, a, at an appointment, right? And the guy was talking to me telling me about you are responsible for the choices you are make you're also responsible for, for the consequences of those choices if you choose you know what I'm saying your reality and certain things that you wish to implement out of your reality you will suffer the consequences of that reality your, no risk no reward that's why Allegra symbolizes the, the risk the reward. And you also can deal with Olegua as well because he has his shadow self, right? And you can say they're not the same, but I'm just trying to give it in context, which is Kaufu or Isu, you know? And you got uh, Baron Criminal as the the uh, the, the opple opposite of um, Baron Samdi, who's the eight. He's the Joker and that's the ace. You know what I'm saying? He don't play no games when he comes. So these are talking about the different sides and dimensions of you. The, the four different ways that connect to one intersection, which is your heart chakra. So, you know, when you make a decision, understand that you every for every decision that you make, there is a consequence to it. Every time you make a decision, you are also making a sacrifice. So, I just wanted to touch in on that. And what else? Inner Earth. Just talked about it real quickly. Nothing too much to go into right now. Uh, I'm preparing for some bigger lives, some more stuff to, going on. I'm linking with some other people. Shout out to Hashi L. Shout out to uh, Corleone Giovanni, Big Bro, the Grand Wizard, the Giant. Shout out to Enzo I Will. Shout out to everybody who watches and support me. Our movement is is growing. More and more people are coming into this tribe, this soul, uh, this soulology. So I just wanted to touch bases with y'all. Y'all have any questions before I go? Because I got to catch my bus and I don't want to miss it. So y'all can hit me up for star seed readings, DNA activations. Y'all need If y'all need to contact the dad, I'm going to start doing some free sessions soon online. Some free reading sessions uh, on live and stuff. Try to get back doing in the groove of doing that. So, you know, a lot of different things. If y'all need spell work, if you need, uh, you know, money spells, breakup spells, revenge spells, any kind of spell you think of, true spells, um, I've got it. So go ahead, hit me up. I do major workings. I don't just do spells, too. I do workings as well, which is ongoing work. So you guys can hit me up uh, at any time. Y'all got any questions before I go, because I see the bus getting ready to come. And I'll talk more on parallel realities and stuff when I get a chance. But I just had some a chance just to tap in with y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and go and get on my way. I just wanted to touch in, give y'all a, a video 
talking about us, inner earth societies and stuff like that. Well, we go a little bit more about inner earth and treasure and the gold. Um, a little bit more about emerald types of stuff in, in part two of this. So part two is going to be way more better or way more in depth. So thank you guys for watching and peace.